Hello everyone, my name is Mr. Mulgrew and I'm the Head of Geography here at WSO. Now over the next two minutes I'm going to try and introduce you to the course and how it ties into their previous learning and how it might prepare them for university. So if we look at the curriculum and the syllabus, we can it's summarized here in this brief table. It's broken down into three sections and part one and part two will be sat uh, by HL and SL students Part 2 extension will be sat by HL students only. Part 1, there are seven options, and we focus on three here at WSO. Extreme environment, leisure, sport and tourism, and food and health. Each of those options will have uh, a section of an assessment that has one structured and one extended question. A structured question is very similar to what they will have sat at GCSE. The extended question is now their challenge. It's where they, it's an essay style question where they're expected to take the learning that we provide for them and support that with their own research and structure well formulated essay answers. Uh, and that will be their challenge. Part two, we look at the geographic perspectives, which focuses on changing population, global climate, vulnerability and resilience, and global resource consumption and security. Again, these are all topics that they have studied before Key Stage 3 and Key Stage 4, so at IB we delve deeper. The assessment will be three structured questions. Again, the structured questions are, are uh, similar to the style they will have set at GCSE. And the infograph question is very similar to the paper to you in our Cambridge IGCSE. It provides them with data evidence tables, and they have to infer knowledge from that to answer questions supported by their studies. The HL only part, part two extension, we study power, places, networks, human development and diversity, global risks and resilience. And the student will have a series of extended questions that they have to choose. So this again is uh, higher level writing. It requires quite a lot of uh, independent study outside of the classroom as well to get the top marks on this work. The IB approaches to learning underpin geography here at WSO along all the way from Key Stage 3 to Key Stage 4 and up to Key Stage 5. So if your son or daughter has been with us through the previous uh, four or five years of learning, they will be not averse to taking risks. They will be reflective on their successes and failures. They will be open-minded to new approaches. Um, but again, it's something we're going to push. We, we want our learners to be good communicators. It's very important to debate our ideas, to be very principled, to understand what you stand for and back it up with your arguments, and but also to be balanced, you know, to understand people's different points of view and why that's also very important when structuring debates and arguments. The key skills that we hope to embed in our course are listed below. Now, Nearly all of these will have been embedded in the past, evaluating sources, critical thinking, presenting, debating, discussions, cartography, and analyzing. The two that we're really going to develop on uh, over the next two years are essay and report writing, evaluating sources so they can understand where valuable information comes from, and thinking critically about that information so they can infer the information that they want. Now guys, if there's any questions, please don't hesitate to email me. My email address is c.mulgrew underscore WSO at gemsedgy.com. I look forward to hearing from you and uh, good luck in your decision.